putting his name to a document that makes Brexit a reality after four and a half years since the referendum. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson's delight is self-evident. Good. Well, thank you very much, everybody. And I, I want everybody to understand that uh, the, the treaty that I've, I've just signed is, is not the end. It is, it is a new beginning. Just over four hours of parliamentary scrutiny was given um, over to the New Deal, running to some 1,246 pages and covering $850 billion dollars of trade. The eyes to the right. Parliamentarians left with the choice between the chaos of a no deal at all and the government deal. The UK Prime Minister later denied the deal was the first ever to actually put up barriers obstructing trade. There will be changes and we've been very clear with people that they have to get ready for, for January the 1st, the things will, will work differently. Control over fisheries was a call to arms for Brexiteers under the trade deal just 25% of EU fishing rights in UK waters will be handed to the British fleet over a transition period lasting five years. A lot less than the UK had demanded, but the size of the catch set against the wider economy made fisheries politically expedient. And of course, there are additional costs, some attached to a slower movement of trucks in and out of Europe, drivers carrying a fistful of new Brexit paperwork. In readiness, the government is ripping up parts of the English countryside to build truck holding sites, averting a repeat of the Covid-inspired chaos witnessed before Christmas. Getting this place ready is not the only Brexit headache hanging over Britain. The government's still in the process of hiring 50,000 customs officials to oversee the red tape. Concerns still exist on both sides of the channel. If you listen to the French and British authorities, yes, all the talk is of smart borders. They tell us everyone is ready, but that doesn't stop us from having doubts. So that's it then, is it? Brexit done and dusted, as promised so effectively by Boris Johnson in the general election a year ago. Well, not entirely. Under the watchful eye of something in Brussels called the Partnership Council, dozens of committees will be filtering all aspects of trade, effectively tying the two sides to a grim eternity of Brexit negotiations. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London.